How do you prepare for a tsunami? It's a question tsunami vulnerable communities such as Carnage and West Trinidad should immediately know the answer to. As Charlene Lewis tells us, increasing awareness was the aim of tsunami readiness training and drills in that community. The Office of Disaster Preparedness and Management and the Caribbean Disaster Emergency Management Agency are doing their part to ensure that communities are ready and resilient in the event of any tsunami. This following several earthquakes that have rocked the region. The two entities held a meeting on Tuesday evening in Karanash to educate residents on being tsunami ready. And it is a set of guidelines and it seeks to ensure, as I said before, that communities who have this recognition have the necessary tools, procedures, knowledge and skills to take the necessary response actions in the event of a tsunami in order to save lives and to save property. Getting prepared for possible tsunami is a three-pronged approach, mitigation, irrigation and response. So coastal communities recognize that tsunami ready are better able than others, better prepared to save lives through improved hazard assessment and planning, strengthened operating procedures and protocols and enhanced education and awareness. She said an emergency center is needed. And that would be your police station here in Karanaj. You're 24 hours and they'll be able to receive any alerts, any warnings that would be coming from the ODPM or Met Services or wherever else that would be. And they have to be able to get the message out to you guys in the community. The Karanaj Community Tsunami Preparedness Drill took place on Wednesday morning. Charlene Lewis, TTT News. And several first responders were on hand to help Karanaj residents walk through what to do in the face of a natural disaster, a tsunami. Stacey Ann Providence tells us about it. You're along the coast and you feel a violent earthquake. You see the waves retreating in a strange phenomenon. Or they are crashing. Run for higher ground. The takeaway from a tsunami preparedness drill in Karanaj, the ultimate goal is to save lives. Here's the scenario put to the community on Wednesday. All right, so this morning, what we did was we simulated an 8.4 magnitude earthquake that occurred off the coast of Puerto Rico. As a result of that um, earthquake, we were warned by the tsunami center that we were to expect in Trinidad and, and Tobago the effects of that tsunami within three hours. Coordinators say the drill drummed up awareness should Trinidad and Tobago be threatened by a tsunami. Today was a build up from what was done a couple of years ago by the Ministry of Rural Development and Local Government. So what we did was take it up a notch and what we've recognized today was a success but more drills are required in the communities. It also highlighted some areas where improvement is needed, among them traffic management and communication. Is that we have to build within the community a stronger network. The Karanaj community has networks. What we have to do is bring those networks together. And here is where councillors in the area, pastors, priests, coaches of football clubs, all the networks that exist right now, it is bringing them together, not only for this, but for all the other challenges that this community is facing. He says it's hard not to be complacent when you haven't really experienced an event such as this, but it's important to be prepared. Stacey Ann Providence, TTT News.